Five students appeared for an examination. The average mark obtained by these five students is 40. The maximum mark of the examination is 100 and each of the five students scored more than 10 marks. However, none of them scored exactly 40. Based on the information, which of the following must be true? So we have a bunch of data here. They say five people wrote an examination. Everyone scored more than 10 but less than 100 because the maximum is 100. And it also says none of them scored 40. So they can either be more than 40 or they can be less than 40. Now based on this, which of the following must be true? Now first one says, at least three of them scored a maximum of 40 marks. Now they are telling us, at least three, that means a minimum of three people scored a maximum of 40. Now 40 is not possible. So they say, at least three of them scored 39. Now the point is, they say we can have three, 39, 39, 39. And the other two people compensate these three marks, let's say 41 and 43, 42. Now they say this is a case, but there is also a possibility we can have just two of them scoring a maximum of 40, 39 and 39. The other three have to put together uh, 122, let's say 41, 41, 40. This could have happened, but 40 is not possible. That means this person gets 38 and this person gets 30, 41. We have two people scoring less than for maximum of 40. We have three people scoring maximum of 40. We can have one person scoring a maximum of 40. We can have one person score 11 and the rest of them put together give us 189. One person can be less than 40, four of them being greater than 40 is possibility. So this cannot be true. This is definitely not a true statement. Can't say that. The second one says, at least three of them scored more than 40 marks. Now they say, a minimum of three people scored more than 40 marks. Not necessary again. I can have four people score 30, 30, 30 and 30. And the fourth person scoring 80. They still end up with 200. Now if you look at this, at least three of them scored more than 40. Not true. Because I clearly see that four of them are less than 40. Only one of them is more than 40. So again, this cannot be true. And the third one says, at least one of them score exactly 41. Oh, we cannot say that. Here in this case, we have 30, 30, 30, 30 and 80. We can write a possibility where we, can, we don't have to definitely include 41. So we cannot say at least one of them scored 41. Not true. Again, it says at most two of them scored more than 40 marks. Oh, same case, maximum of two people scoring 40 marks, more than 40 marks, not true again. I can say uh, 41, 41, 41 and 41, that totally gives me 164 and the last person scoring 36. Now we have only one person scoring more than, th less than 36 or we can just rewrite the other way around 36, 36, 36, 36, not necessarily true again. This is not a definite scenario. At least one of them scored less than 40 marks. Now I look at this, I know none of them scored 40. That means some of them have to be less than 40, some of them have to be greater than 40. Definitely one person has less than 40 because if everyone scores more than 40, that definitely means the average is not 40. So in that case, this is definitely true. Hush.